Yeah, breaking news. The president has moved the nation one step closer to military action against Syria. He said he is certain that the order to fire those chemical weapons came directly from the Syrian government. And he seemed to leave little doubt that America is moving toward action. The Mideast region is on a new kind of alert tonight, and ABC's Martha Raddatz is there in Jerusalem. Thousands of Syrians tonight fleeing Damascus as President Obama leaves no doubt tonight in an interview with PBS that Syria's President Assad has crossed a red line. When uh, countries break international norms on weapons like chemical weapons that could threaten us, that they are held accountable. The president said he has not yet made a decision to strike, but if one is launched, it would be aimed at preventing another chemical attack, not in taking sides in Syria's bloody civil war. There are dozens of potential targets, but likely top among them, facilities storing vehicles which could launch chemical weapons, like this storage depot near Damascus. The president wants to prevent Assad from using chemical weapons on his people again, but he can't hit the chemical weapon storage sites directly. If the U.S. wants to take aim at Assad's military, it could strike the vital Meza airfield. Or American missiles could lock on a symbolic target that would send a strong message to Assad, like the Ministry of Defense in Damascus. As Syria waits, so does Israel. Today in Jerusalem, families stocked up on gas masks, fearing a retaliatory strike. If America does act, officials say the strikes would last only two or three days and involve long-range bombers like this one we saw. They would fire cruise missiles that are stealthy, accurate, and deadly. The Syrian regime would never see them coming. Military commanders are now awaiting orders from the president, but that will not likely come until U.N. investigators are out of Damascus several days from now. Diane? Martha Raddatz reporting on the tension overseas tonight.